Welcome to the Shreveport Connection with Tommy, and this video is going to be about WWE and their partial Superstars taping from, actually last night since it's, uh, well, uh, it's 20 after midnight, getting all the news, still haven't seen the results from the dark match from the main event, so that will be on the SmackDown part of uh, tomorrow night's tapings. And later on will be your TNA one and a half shows of uh, Impact Wrestling on the next video. And first, here we go with some WWE news. Well, as it comes up, all right. Happy birthday to Ray Mysterio from yesterday. Actually, it was uh, on Sunday on the 11th. Real name, Oscar Gutierrez. He turned 37 years old. Mysterio went. Uh, underwent a pair of surgeries on his knees uh, earlier this year. The first was in August to repair the ACL, PCL, and to remove bone spurs. The second took place on September 28th and was done to reinforce the PCL. Well, he appeared on Raw tonight uh, during the Slammy Awards uh, edition of Raw. Former WWE superstar Brutus the Barber Beefcake, a.k.a. real name, Ed Leslie, told TMZ that he is prepared to, to join Hulk Hogan in, in a lawsuit of defamation of character and slandering uh, against uh, Linda Belia for spreading the rumor that he and Hulk Hogan had been a, in a gay relationship. Beefcake says the allegations are not true. Quote, I've, I've known Linda for almost 40 years, unquote, Beefcake said. But when she starts trying to ruin our careers, it just ain't fair. Read more on the entire story at TMZ.com. Just think what the lawyer is going to say from, from this. I object, uh, Your Honor, I object under, under the grounds that it, it, was, it was impossible to ruin Mr. Beefcake's career since it ended long before Ms. Ms. Bolea spread the rumor. Man, this lawyer stuff is easy. Okay, well, his career actually ended on his own terms, and also afterwards, he was in that explosion that basically destroyed his, his jaw, and uh, if I'm not mistaken, it was Nick who saved his life, it's Hulk Hogan's son that saved his life, to get him away from the actual debris and what have you, the burning. Okay, well, that's about all the news for... This week, and now for your tribute to the troop, tribute to the troops uh, that uh, is airing tomorrow night. Don't forget to set your DVRs for the regular time that SmackDown would normally come on. I believe it's from seven o'clock Central to nine o'clock. I have to check my own DVR and set it up before I go to work in the morning. And what have you? Lillian Garcia performed the national anthem. Michael Cole and Jerry Lawler were on commentary. Match number one: Randy Orton defeated Wade Barrett by DQ. Match number two: Zack Ryder. With Sergeant, uh, Sergeant Slaughter defeated Jack Swagger with Dolph Ziggler. So I don't know if that, that was a tag team match or just they were in the corner. Match number three, Cody Rhodes fought Daniel Bryan to an apparent no contest. Cody got into a fight with Booker T. And that was it for that one. And then they had a brief inter intermission with Mary J. Blige performing. Match number four, Kelly Kelly, Alicia Fox, Eve. And Maria Menonus, uh, I guess how you pronounce it, Menonus, how you pronounce it, defeated Beth Phoenix, Natalia, and the Bella Twins. Match number five, Primo and Epico with Rosamund Mendez defeated Evan Bourne and Kofi Kingston in a non-title match. Mm, uh, match number six, Sheamus defeat. Uh, okay. So I guess they had to redo the uh, two ways uh, that they uh, Seamus uh, fought uh, Drew McIntyre, and had they had two finishes. The bell sounded for the DQ when Seamus ignored the referee at the five count. Seamus eventually brought McIntyre back in the ring, hit hit him with a road kick, and the referee counted a pin. So I guess that was your other second finish. Okay, then you had another intermission uh, with Nickelback performing. 
<clears throat> so it's all, is this going to be a one hour tribute to the truth or this is going to be, I believe it's two hours. So all this might be, be on the show. Ray Mysterio was interviewed backstage. Miz and Alberto Del Rio showed up and bickered. But CM Punk showed up to get his little two cents in. And I guess they had a comedian uh, performing, uh, George Wallace. And number seven, the match, CM Punk, John Cena, and Big Show defeated Mark Henry, The Miz, and Alberto Del Rio in a six-man tag. No word on if Alberto's ring announcer, Ricardo Rodriguez, was, was there or not. The following is a list of winners from last, uh, last night's Slammy Award edition of Raw. And this entire episode of Raw was three hours of BS. Falling asleep during the show, show in the first hour. Woke up in the second hour is almost as boring as the, the first hour. Well, here's your list. The first one. Tell me I just not, did not just see that award. Goes to Jim Ross. And it's dancing. And. Holy crap moment of the year. Big Show and Mark Henry. Destroying the ring at Vengeance. And the announcers for that were Ted, Million Dollar Man, DiBiase, and Mick Foley. Pipe Bomb of the Year Award, and I believe that went went out to the, uh, that went to CM Punk, of course. Road Dog Jesse James, I think, was uh, doing that one. And I will give more details on the, the actual placing that will happen later on. Devolution, uh, devolicious moment of the year. Kelly Kelly winning first the WWE Divas title. Well, who came out to announce that one was Vicky Guerrero and none other than Goldust. OMG moment of the year went to Triple H tombstoning the, the Undertaker at WrestleMania 27. Trending star of the year, Zack Ryder. I didn't, uh, this was during that, uh, right at, I guess during that first hour portion where Triple H came out and was on the show. I woke up right about the time the trendy star of the year was, went to Zack Ryder. Game changer moment of the year, The Rock challenged John Cena to WrestleMania main event a year in advance. Well, John Cena came, came to accept the award since, uh, The Rock was not there. He tried to uh, do the uh, segment where they were announcing the, the rocket at, at the thing. Well, more uh, in the actual report. A-lister of the year went to Snooki. Superstar of the year, of course, went to CM Punk. For those who missed, Raw, at the main event, Kane made his return during the main event and attacked John Cena. Kane returned wearing a new mask under the, the original mask. They removed it, and then he attacked John Cena to reveal yet another new mask underneath. <sighs> and it's nothing like the original mask, anyways. It's more more goldish. Uh, I guess he stole uh, gold dust mask. <laughs> also making returns tonight, edition of Raw was Rey Mysterio, Christian Lita. Yes, Lita. And speaking of Lita, she was arrested on some uh, some charge. I haven't found out yet about it over the weekend. And it's also on TMZ. Look for her photo and, and the reason why. I'll, whenever I find in the news, I will post it tomorrow night. Ted DiBiase Sr., the Million Dollar Man. Tony Atlas was there. And former tag team champion, also Road Dog. Dark match before Raw was Tyson Kidd defeating the newcomer, Damian Shan. Uh, it's supposed to be Sando. Better known during his first run with WWE as Idol Stevens. He's currently working in Florida Championship Wrestling and is under developmental deal. Well, he's, high, he's so high with uh, Triple H. Well, he's on Raw, he's coming up to Raw, I believe. But he's been doing the SmackDown events as well. And for those who also missed it, former tag team champion Road Dogg, Jesse James, returned to Raw tonight to present the Slammy Award for the Pipe Bomb over the years. I was, I was correct. As previously reported, Road Dog now works as works with WWE as backstage agent producer. 
And that was uh, Robert's uh, question earlier this week. Uh, what was uh, Road Dogg's job in WWE? Well, I just gave you the news. WWE taped a raw portion of this week's WWE Superstars tonight from Norfolk Scope Arena in Norfolk, Virginia. Dark match. Tyson Kidd defeated Sando, best known, okay, and uh, Superstars, one match with Jack Swagger defeating Alex Riley. Epico and Primo with Rosa Mendez defeated Tag Team Champion Air Boom in a non-title match, and Air Boom is supporting new ring gear. And something happened with my Raw report, so I will have to go to the internet again to get the news from that one. It'll take me a few seconds. Okay, well, it's not on my other page that I had up. Okay. <coughs> uh, Pop-ups coming, coming on from the site that I normally go to. pop-up comes up. I hate pop-ups. <sighs> and my source uh, for this week will be ringsidenews.com and they've uh, updated their site and it's almost exactly like Facebook. You can actually post your own little uh, news and we'll have comments and you actually get some uh, real people posting back on, the, on their feelings of what you just said. Oh, it's giving me some troubles right now. It's slowly loading, slowly loading. Must be busy on the traffic tonight with the news posting. Harry Smith is now in uh, TNA. We're doing a TNA project with the India project for TNA. Also with Chris Masters and Chavo Guerrero is also there as well. <clears throat> and they had a cryptic video and, and for everybody's guess what that was Kane. Well, apparently not because this Kane character to me was not the original. Kane, they did a side view of him, and this was not the original Kane. This guy's chest was humongous to like a bodybuilder, but well, there's no muscle muscle mass there, just basic. And if you didn't know Kane, well, Kane has grown his hair back, but not this dang fast. It'll be long hair. So it must be part of his mask as well. Well... Oh, I pass it up. Okay, now 
As soon as it loads up, I guess I failed on the Boy Scout motto, be prepared. Well, I had all the news. It just disappeared on me. And I know I saved it many times. Okay, it opened up with a normal raw video package. <clears throat> of course, it loads and then loads again and it reloads itself. Uh, well. Still loading. Now the computer's actually catching up, so now I gotta go back a little bit. Okay. We got a promo for 2011 Slammy Awards. A woman's voice welcomes us to the must see event of the year. <clears throat> And we're live as the pyro goes off in the arena. Michael Cole welcomes us to the Slammies. And he's joined by Jared King Lawler. Booker T comes out first, accompanied by Eve Torres, pre to present the Tell Me I Did Not See That Moment Slammy. He, he, his co-presenter is Hornswoggle. And he's out next. And he's dressed up just like Booker. With, with, actually, he's dressed up like Carlito, but with a black afro uh, hairdo. <clears throat> and he is accompanied by Alicia Fox. And Hornswoggle is rocking like, a, like an afro tonight. Uh, actually rocking an afro tonight, supporting the afro. Hornswoggle speaks and he's got, got some slang going, going on tonight. Nominees for the Slammies are JR for Dancing Against Michael Cole on Raw. Santino Morello for almost eliminating Alberto Del Rio at the Royal Rumble. Or Truth for Getting Got by Little Jimmy and The Miz for... Impersonating The Rock on Raw and attacking John Cena. And the winner is, well, you know it's not going to be our truth because he his suspension, so they won't allow him back on TV. And then the winner is J.R. Ross comes out to the stage to accept the award. And the Michael Cole gets his two piece, two cents worth in and the rush the, the, uh, him from the ring. Cole ins insults J.R. Booker calls Cole, Cole a loser. And best that Ross can, can beat Cole right now in a wrap-off. The world's most disgusting wrap-off happens. Booker and Hornswoggle. And Ross head to the ring as Cole waits. Cole says he, he listens to, to Eminem. Not eat Eminem's like <coughs> JR does. Cole says he's, he, he gets jiggy with it and starts moving around before attempting a rap. A very pathetic performance by Michael Cole. And this is rough TV. Booker says it was the worst rap ever he's heard because there was no rhyming in the rap. JR is up next and he, he he doesn't need any music. He said he wants to do a acapella. They play music anyways and, and Ross raps, raps at Cole. He has a few rhymes in there. Ross fails also but is announced the winner. They celebrate and Ross goes to leave the ring but Booker stops him. Booker says that people want to see what they've never seen before, a, J, a, a J.R. Rooney. I predicted that already, what he was going to say. Ross impersonates Booker, does the five, 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 five time thing, and does a very bad move on his back. He's like, he started, he's, he goes, it's like he's having a heart attack just to get on his back, and just, just rolls around on his back. So that was his win, and J.R. Rooney. Then we get hyped for the Superstar of the Year. Mick Foley is shown back, walking backstage and we'll be presenting the next Slammy. They've got a commercial, back from the commercial, and Mick Foley is out with a million dollar man for the holy moment of the year, as Mick Foley was trying to say. And uh, Ted was, uh, was like, okay, no, you can't say that. Nominees are Seamus Powerbombing sent Carl through a table. Randy Orton catches Christian and with the RKO on still steps, Big Show and Mark Henry collapsing the ring. And Evan Bourne hitting the air boom off the ladder. <coughs> the winners are Show and Henry. Big Show comes out to accept the slammy. 
Show says the World Heavyweight ch- uh, title would look good on a, uh, with a slammy. Big Show says he's headed to the ring to bash someone's head in and makes his way down to the down the ramp. And your next match, your first match of the night was Big Show versus Wade Barrett. Show opens Wade Barrett. <coughs> Show, show's opponent is Wade Barrett and they are out, he's out next. Barrett cuts a promo on Randy Orton and says if, if Show leaves TLC as a World Heavyweight Champion, then Barrett, the Barrett Barrage is coming for him. We go back to commercial, back from the break. Barrett's on the floor. He fights his way in the ring, but Show drops him on the shoulder. Barrett ends up on the floor again where a table is set up. Show tries to put him through it, but can't. Barrett goes, goes to the top to put Show through the table. Show gets up and breaks the table with his, with his hand, with his bare hands and knocks Barrett across the ring. Barrett brings his chair in the ring and swings it. To get disqualified, Big Show blocks blocks the uh, chair anyways with with his fist. Big Show connects with a knockout punch to the chair and a clothesline to Sam Barrett out of the ring. So you went in the first match. Big Show, not much of a match. More hype for Superstar of the Year. And Cena versus Henry was announced for the for your your main event. <clears throat> Back from uh, the break, and out comes Road Dog Jesse B. That's uh, B. G. James. That's <clears throat> As a surprise slammy presenter, he raps and says he's going to try to keep this, his words PG. He presents the Sammy for, for the pipe bomb of the year. We get a video package with lots of clips put together featuring CM Punk. Oh, you didn't know? He tried to keep it. And say, well, I can't say it. Say what I was saying. He still said, well, you better call somebody. Well, the other uh, clips were... Uh, uh, there's CM Punk, The Rock, Booker T, Steve Austin, that's so cold, Seamus, Mean Gene, Zack Ryder, John Laronitis, Teddy Long, and others. Road Dogg announces the winner, and it's CM Punk. Punk brings out a mannequin and stands beside it as a podium with no bottoms on, on the mannequin. And the crowd chants his name. Punk r- rattles off so, some thank yous and talks about someone who deserves to be in the spotlight like him. Punk compares the person to, to the mannequin and lifts up his skirt, his uh, shirt. Punk presents us with a tribute to the John Laronitis on the big screen to the touch by Stan Bush. We see clips of Laronitis recently and lots of clips from, from throughout the career. And, and what was on the mannequin was a shirt that uh, I have never seen before. And it actually was a dynamic dudes tag team shirt. He even had their names on it. And, of course, it said surfs up on the shirt. Uh, okay, uh, Punk accepts his award on Larry Nice's behalf and mocks him. So all they did was uh, they showed uh, a lot of clips of Johnny th- throughout his career, and that was it. Punk and Randy Orton versus Alberto Del Rio, and the Miz is still to come tonight, uh, still to come. Back to commercial, I don't even remember seeing much of that match. Back from the break, and out comes former WWE Diva. Lita, to present the Devolicious Slammy Award. Lita said she had an op- she had an entire career of Devolicious moments and talked about some of them. The nominees are Natalia for her double sharpshooter on Eve. I thought that was uh, impressive. Uh, it was uh, Eve and Alicia Fox. Uh, Kelly Kelly for winning the Divas title. Karma for attacking Michelle McCool. And Beth Phoenix uh, for her top rope glam slam on Eve. Well, Karma's away with her pregnancy, so we know it's gonna be uh, not gonna be her. And the winner is Kelly Kelly. She comes out and is interrupted by Natalya and Divas champion Beth Phoenix. Well, the uh, Beth Phoenix uh, grabbed the uh, trophy away from Kelly. Well, Kelly slapped Beth in the face and got grabbed the thing, grabbed the award back. Natalia holds her back as Lita raises Kelly's arm for the win. Michael Cole shows us WWE 12 preview of Cena vs. Mark Henry. Uh, well, I didn't see that one either. That must have been where I was basically do- dozing off. Santino Morello came out to present the Slammy for OMG moment of the year. He's joined by the Bella Twins. Boy, I took a, a great time to go to sleep on that one. Uh, okay, the nominees are Triple H for hitting the tombstone on 
on Undertaker. The Rock for hitting rock bottom on Cena. WWE roster walking out on Triple H and CM Punk for leaving money, leaving money in the bank with the WWE title. The winner is Triple H and he, out he comes. Triple H comes out with a sledgehammer and goes right, right to the ring. And he says the OMG moment wasn't what we saw. It was when the ma match was over and the Undertaker couldn't leave the ring on his own power for the first time in his career. Triple H says Taker was carried from the ring and only one man left him. Nine months later and Undertaker is no more. The OMG moment was at WrestleMania when the streak came to an end. He says Triple H addresses Kevin Nash, Kevin Nash next and shows a clip from two weeks ago when Nash attacked him from behind with the sledgehammer and then backstage. Triple H then talked about their match at TLC and says after Sunday Nash is done. Triple H heads up the ramp and stop, stops as Santino tries to hand him the slammy. Triple H makes him run off and poses with the sledgehammer before we go back to commercial. David Otunga and Tony Atlas come out to present the slammy for trending star of the year. Well, like I said, I didn't actually see this part. Atlas just laughs while Otunga tries to present the award. This goes on for a few minutes and Otunga yells at Atlas. The nominees are Cody Rhodes, Daniel Bryan, Dolph Ziggler, and Zack Ryder. <clears throat> they didn't announce it. Well, Zack Ryder was actually the winner. Zack Ryder versus Daniel Bryan versus Dolph Ziggler versus Cody Rhodes is up next. For, okay, well. Okay, well. Four nominees will compete to see who the trending star of the year is. So that's why they didn't announce it. Zack Ryder is out first, followed by... Cody Rhodes, Intercontinental Champion, Daniel Bryan, and finally the United States Champion, Zal Ziggler. Well, Bell wrong, and Cody beats Bryan down while Ryder and Ziggler go at it. First man to train worldwide on Twitter will win the match, they say. Cody and Dolph get dumped to the opposite sides of the ring. Ryder and Bryan leap out to their opponents as we go to commercial. Back from the break, Bryan goes at it in the ring with Ryder. Ryder stops Bryan with knees to the face and starts fist pumping. Ryder with a kick to the head in the corner for a two count. They run the ropes and collide in midair. Cody slides in the ring and gets a two count on both men. Ziggler comes in and has words with Rhodes. They agree to attack Ryder and, and Bryan. Ryder ends up on the floor and they double team Bryan. Cody shoves Dolph in the corner and Dolph shoves him back. Bryan rolls Cody up for two. Ziggler works on Ryder in the corner and, and Cody trades several pin attempts. Cody throws Bryan out to the floor and they double team Ryder. Before tossing him out. Ziggler rolled Cody up from, from behind for a two. Cody connected with a clothesline and slams him in the head for a two count. Dolph rolls out, of the, out to the floor and we go to another commercial. Back for the break and Cody has Ryder in a figure four. Ryder makes a comeback to get clothesline by Ziggler on the apron. Brian comes in and goes at it with Ziggler and Ryder. All three clotheslining each other at once. Cody springboards, uh, Springboard kicks Ziggler in the head, and only gets a two count. Brian hits Cody with a Florio uppercuts and kicks in the corner, followed by a big drop kick. Brian came up and up top, but Cody knocked him off. Ziggler charges in the corner on Ryder, but he moves. Ryder goes up top, but Ziggler stopped him. Ziggler brings Ryder down with a superplex, but uh, Cody then brings Brian down to the mat with a superplex of his own. Cody and Ziggler get up first, trading shots in the middle of the ring. Ryder goes for the rough rider on Cody, but ends up hitting, hitting it on Ziggler instead. Cody hits a crossroads on Ryder. Afterwards, uh, Brian comes up and locks the little well lock on Cody. Dolph breaks it up and it hits a sleeper on Brian. Brian fights out, fights out, but Ziggler nails a zigzag for the win. Well, after the match, Jerry Lawler comes in the ring to present the slammy. The winner for the, the training star of the year is Zack Ryder. Ryder takes uh, the award. But Dolph lays him down from behind. Dolph takes the, the slammy and his U.S. title be, uh, before walking off with Vicky Guerrero, claiming he's the winner. He won the match. More hype for Cena versus Mark Henry, and then it goes to commercial. Christian comes out to present the slammy for the game changer of the year, and he's wearing a neck brace and crutches. He comes out on crutch, uh, like a, like I was saying, with a neck brace and crutches. As I was uh, waking up that, at that point, Christian asked. How he's not nominated for this award or superstar of the year. Chris calls for the fans and calls the fans stupid and blames it on them. Nominees are Vince McMahon being 
relieved of his duties by Triple H, Edge being forced to retire, Kevin S attacking CM Punk and The Rock, <coughs> and, and John Cena making their WrestleMania match. The Rock challenging John Cena wins. Out comes Cena to to accept the Slammy and The Rock. Cena comes out and attacks uh, and, and acts like he's introducing The Rock on the big screen. Crowd boos when Rock doesn't appear. Cena mocks uh, Rock for saying he would never leave. Cena tees a, a clip from The Rock, but doesn't have that either. Cena apologizes on behalf of Team Bring It for not bringing it. Cena goes on and says WrestleMania will be the biggest day in the history of WWE. Cena says they will change the game forever and walks off. Cole plugs Cena for Mark Henry for later on, later on, and, and the tag team man events up. Next is they cut the commercial back from the break. You want to see highlights from the WWE title contract signing from last week. So Alberto Del Rio and The Miz versus CM Punk and Randy Orton. Ricardo Rodriguez does his normal introduction to Alberto Del Rio coming down to the arena. And out next comes his tag team partner, Miz. Randy Orton's out next and is followed by his w, uh, WWE champion, The Punk. CM Punk, that is. Punk and Miz starts, starts out. Punk takes Miz down. Kicks him in the back. Punk keeps control of the tags and Orton for... A bit of double team stopping. Orton drops a big knee on Miz for a two count. Orton hit him with a, a slam on and another two. Miz turns it around and uh, tags Del Rio. Del Rio keeps control of Orton. Brings Miz back in. Miz keeps Orton in the corner and he fights out with right hands. Miz beats Orton back down in the corner and Del Rio gets a cheap shot in. Miz with a two count. Miz applies a headlock on, on Orton. Orton fights out with a backdrop. Punk and Del Rio come in at the same time. Punk unloads and drops Del Rio with a DDT for a two. Punk hits high knee in the corner and then the Bulldog for another two. Del Rio slides out of, the, out of a GTS and distracts the referee, allowing Miz to drop Punk from behind. Del Rio tags in Miz as we go, go back to commercial. And Miz for, uh, was outside the ring getting, getting on the apron and it's uh, on the ropes, in other words, from behind. Back from the break, and Miz has control of Punk. Punk tries to backslide, but Miz comes back with a clothesline for a two count. Del Rio comes back in and stomps away on Punk. Miz tags in and stomps Punk from getting to Orton. In comes Del Rio again with a cross arm breaker and a two count on Punk. Del Rio works Punk's arm over in the corner and tags in Miz to keep keep the assault on Punk. Uh, Punk uh, counters Skull Crusher finale with a GTS, but Miz blocks that. Punk counters again and drops Miz with a uh, kick to the head. The real still stops Punk from tagging. Wade Barrett comes down and attacks Orton from behind and pu pulls him off the uh, ring apron. He hits him head first and Barrett escapes. Going to the crowd. Okay. Uh, Miz misses the clothesline in the corner but avoids the GTS. Miz lays Punk out with a skull crushing finale for the win. After the match, uh, Orton's getting back up and heads through the crowd to find Wade Barrett. Mayors and Del Rio ring, bring a ladder into the ring and beat Punk down with it. Del Rio stomps and, uh, on Punk while the ladder is laid across his back. Del Rio wraps Punk's arm through the ladder, ladder's, the ladder rings with an arm bar. Mayors drops down with a, with a, with a mic and taunts Punk. Mayors says one of them is taking the WWE title from Punk at TLC. Miz taunts Punk some more and says his pipe bomb is just going to blow up in his face. Michael Cole casts his vote for uh, online as the voting was still continued for the Superstar of the Year. And they get another Kane returning Vignette. But it actually wasn't a Kane returning Vignette. It was the, the, the cryptid video, as they say. <coughs> What have you? Back for the break, and Vicky Guerrero was followed up by Goldust to present the Slammy for A Lister of the Year. Nominees are Muppets, Snooky, CeeLo Green, uh, CeeLo Brown, CeeLo Green, whatever, CeeLo Green, I think, and Hugh Jackman. The winner is Snooky, but she can't believe, I mean, she can't be here tonight. So you get satellite, pre recorded video of Snooky accepting her Slammy. 
Snooky says uh, she loves the fans, loves Vince McMahon, and wishes her fellow Guido, Zack Ryder, good luck at TLC. Josh Matthews backstage with Mark Henry, the world's strongest champion. Uh, Henry says the world title is staying with him at TLC. He says John Cena should be worried about getting inducted into the Hall of Pain tonight as they go to commercial. Next up is a 10-second match of uh, Sheamus versus Jinder Mahal. Sheamus is in, in the ring, like I said, back from the break. Sheamus came out. His opponent is Jinder Mahal's out next. Mayhall cuts a promo on Sheamus and says Sheamus will be a, a part of a Sammy winning performance tonight. Mayhall enters the ring and gets caught with a bro kick in the match. Matt never, never, never even rang, rang the bell. Sheamus walk, uh, walk back up the ramp as his music plays and they go right back to commercial. Back from commercial, Rey Mysterio comes out to present the Superstar of the Year, Sammy. Mysterio says this is the most important award because the fans pick the winner. Nominees are Randy Orton, The Miz, CM Punk, Alberto Del Rio, Mark Henry, and John Cena. Winner is Punk. <clears throat> we see Mark Henry headed to the ring backstage uh, with a, about a new cryptic video again for January 2012. Interrupts before we go to commercial. Yes, it's the same one, but uh, they actually uh, enforce the words control in it. And it can be found also on uh, YouTube. Look for control. 2012. Uh, Cole and Lawler talked about a, a woman who, who met Vince McMahon overseas in Afghanistan, and they show a picture of her son with a WWE title belt. Well, they were at ringside, well, the son, son and the dad at ringside. Uh, the, the, they show the woman's son and her husband at ringside. Okay, yeah, they did uh, They did show the, the son in the picture, but I don't remember seeing the picture for the woman. And they wished her a Merry Christmas. Mark Henry versus John Cena was up next. They go to the ring. Out first came World's Strongest Champion. Mark Henry. John Cena is out next. They go at it. But Henry shoves Cena down into the mat. And we go to commercial already. Back from the break. And Henry is still in control of Cena. Cena tried to fight back. But Henry squashed him for a two count. I didn't see much of this match. I fell asleep again. Like I said, some of this, some of those three-hour Slammy Award winning was BS sleep material. So that's what I was doing. Uh, back from the break, Henry is still in control of Cena. Cena tries to fight back, but Henry squats him for a two count. Cena fought back uh, out of a hold up and a backdrop and hits five knock shuffle. Cena goes for attitude adjustment, but Henry just just falls on him. Henry beats beats Cena down in the corner. Henry scoops Cena up, but he slides out. Cena fights back with the right hands and a shoulder block. Henry grabs Cena out of, it, out of the air and applies a bear hug. Cena breaks free, but uh, Henry catches him with a world's strongest slam. Pyro goes off on stage. Kane's music starts playing. Kane, or like I said, what appears to be Kane. So I'm not the only one that said it wasn't the real Kane. Makes his way to the ring with a new mask on. Kane's end up choke slamming John Cena and laying him out. Pyro hits again, and he takes the mask off. Raw goes off the air with a mystery cane standing tall. <clears throat> and to me, it could be just anybody. I'm not familiar with somebody like the size of cane, but taller. And with a broader chest. And I don't think it's Skip Sheffield. He ain't that tall. So... Unknown who it is until actual Kane comes back because the real Kane is growing his hair back. But like I said earlier, it's not him. And his hair is growing back, but it's real short. Uh, a little bit more than John Cena's hair. If that can make uh, get you a little bit more point. point of it. Well, you can go to WWE.com for the actual pictures and also Ringside News for photos of the entire Raw tonight. And Ringside News is a fan-friendly site where you can also post your uh, post your results as well as your feelings, and it's just like a Facebook page. That will end my re results for Raw 
tonight I understood stars. Thanks, and again, stay tuned. Impact is coming next.